going on everybody and welcome back to the channel today we're going to be talking playing cards i got the monarchs i got the contrabands and i got a regular set of cards just so you guys can see the difference uh, maybe you guys are wondering about buying these i was watched some videos but you know i guess the videos could be a little better both from theory 11 huge fan of that Go ahead and check that company out. They got a lot of cool stuff. So let's dive right in and start checking this out. Right to it. So I just got a regular deck of playing cards. Um, just so you guys can see the comparison. We'll start off with the Monarchs. I really do love these cards. Um, the packaging on both of these decks is crazy, but I really do like the Monarchs better. It's a little raised, you can see right there and hear that. So imprinted awesome. High quality playing cards is exactly what they are. Comes with a little tape, obviously. You gotta cut to get to the cards. Awesome stuff, high quality playing cards. And they're produced in the USA, so that's cool. Uh, get right into the cards. The inside of this box is awesome too. It's like that blue. Uh, open up these cards. I'll give you a little Theory 11 card here. Look at that. And they, you know, like that's, I mean, don't mind my skills, that's obviously terrible, but I mean, they flip just right out of the box. Um, but again, don't mind that. But, I mean, look at these cards, beautiful. Super shiny. Um, all the jacks, I really do like that. Oh, and some of these cards are flipped over for some reason. But. Those cards are super awesome. Got another Theory 11 card here. So. The back it says um, some stuff in what appears to be Latin. I don't know what that is, but uh, maybe you do. And I'll find all of the uh, picture cards for you. Look at those jokers. Oh, those jokers are awesome. Find all, oh, there's the ace of spades. You guys can see that. All right, obviously we'll show these cards uh, in a little pile here, but I'm gonna show you just the difference of the cards quick. So we'll do the jack spades first. Uh, this will become important a little bit later, especially too, but you can see that these pretty much are the same. Jack of Hearts, a little bit different. Uh, super shiny, really do love these cards. Uh, but pretty much for the most part, you can see they are the same cards, right? So we'll do the Jack of Diamonds, again, pretty much the same cards. Queen of Hearts, uh, just a little bit shinier, but the same artwork, right? Uh, diamonds, same artwork. Spades, same artwork. Uh, King of Spades, got the sword, same artwork. Clubs, same artwork. Diamonds, same artwork. And then the hearts, the same artwork. Uh, so that's just that, so you guys can see that. Um, awesome deck of playing cards. I mean, obviously I don't have a lot of skills to show you all the cool stuff you can do with these cards. I mean, I do have, oop, obviously that's, you know, my, my bad. Uh, but really awesome playing cards, especially if you're just playing with them, you want a cool set of cards for you and your friends to play with. But if you really want to do some cardistry stuff or some card tricks, Definitely think about picking up these cards. Next, on our adventure here. That's so cool, right? Next on our adventure is the contraband cards. Um, again, the box, high quality playing cards, designed in the United States, United Kingdom, made in the United States, Theory 11. Uh, this deck is going to be a little bit different. Uh, I'll show you that now. Awesome playing cards again. This is all really nice on the outside of the box, raised. So you can see that, but 
These cards are a little bit more slippery than the other. I haven't really used these cards. I knew there was one hiding in there. Um, if you want to see the inside of the box, I guess. But uh, here's the outside. Awesome, awesome artwork there. All right, I'll flip it that way so you guys can see. Super, super cool. All these cards. This is just a contraband card. Put that to the side for now, but oh, there is one of these too, which I like. You want to cut the deck special? Boom. Uh, one of those. But uh, get all these cards. The artwork on these cards is awesome. As you can see, oh, there's the jokers, which are pretty sweet. And then just look at the artwork on these cards. Super, super sleek. Kind of old school. But what I do like about um, these particular cards is we'll go through, I'll do the same thing I just did before. I'm gonna get all the cards out of here and I'll show you them in a row. Um, and you can see the difference. Ooh, the ace, spades, that's cool. First, we're just gonna go over the queens so you guys can see uh, the quick difference on the queens. Not really too much to see here. Uh, if you notice, all of these cards are gonna be facing the same way. Like you see, see this only has one eye. She has two eyes. So obviously the, um, the pictures are gonna be a little bit different. You can see that these colors are a little bit more vibrant, but I do really, really like these cards. The um, Very nice. Uh, so again, just you can see queen with the flower, queen with the flower, pretty much standard stuff here. Uh, just go through all of these so you guys can see. Again, queen with the flower, queen with the flower, not too much different there. Uh, the spades, flowers again, nothing crazy. Not really too much to see here. Again, queen with the flowers. Um, this is kind of where I think it gets interesting. So we're gonna go through the jacks first, and then we'll go through the kings. Uh, so again, jack of hearts looks pretty standard. Uh, they both have the ax, so that's cool. Nothing crazy really to see, pretty much kind of along the same lines. Uh, this is another re reason I really like this deck, because it kind of almost, if you look into it, kind of almost tells a little bit of a story maybe. I don't know, we gotta look a little deeper into this. So this is your standard Jack of Spades, right? He just has this little thing in his hand, whatever that is, I don't, not really quite sure. But the Jack of Spades here has the knife. Uh, so pretty much all the cards have been pretty much the same up until this point, but this one, Jack of Spades has a knife. Um, so that's interesting to keep that in mind. Diamonds, again, these all look a little aggressive. He just has like a staff, and now this one has a sword too, if you look at that. And then clubs, he has a bow and arrow. This guy, again, just has a staff. So you can see that the jacks are a little bit more aggressive here. Uh, and we'll start off with the kings. So do the spades. First here, you can see like here's the kings look really really old. Uh, this one has the sword. This one has a sword, but it's pointing towards himself, uh, which is interesting. Maybe giving a little bit of a clue to what's going on here. I don't know what's going on here. Maybe you guys can help. Drop it in the comments. But so this he has a sword facing himself. This guy just has a sword up and down. So that's interesting. Now I'll leave this one for last. Again, keep an eye on the kings and just kind of see the artwork with the kings. Uh, axe and axe, nothing crazy, still look really, really old, right? So we'll keep those like that. We'll do this. Look at that king. Super, super old. Super old. Um, this one has a sword. This one has a staff here with a little leaf. So that's nothing crazy. Uh, this is where it kind of gets really interesting. So if we go to the King of Hearts, 
Um, this side, King of Hearts, this is the one that typically he has the knife towards his head. This one does not have the knife towards his head. The other one had the, uh, you know, knife facing towards himself. This one's towards having his head. This one does not. And if you notice, compared to uh, all of the other kings here, oh, I got these all messed up. Sorry. You look here, notice all these kings, old, young, old, old. So it's almost as if like one of the, as I have the jokers, the jokers, the jacks here, you can see the jacks all super young, almost identical there, right? So it's almost like one of the jacks killed the king uh, or took his place from before, so. Not 100% what's going on here with these cards, uh, but it's super interesting. I'm sure there's a lot more to the story that I don't know. Uh, maybe you guys can help me out. Drop it in the comments, like I said. All that fun stuff. But uh, So these cards are super, super fun. Kind of tell a story. Again, I don't have a lot of cardistry skills to just um, show you guys all this cool stuff. But, you know. All right, that's pretty much it for the Theory 11 cards. The, um, we got Contraband here, and then we got the Monarch. So if you guys are thinking about picking up these cards, I definitely would. I'm a huge fan of them. Um, we just play poker and stuff, and I've been trying to get my cardistry skills up a little bit. But I uh, really do like these cards. Theory 11's a really good brand, so if you guys do have any questions on thinking about buying these, I definitely would. Um, so... There you go. Hopefully this was helpful. You guys got some entertainment value out of this. So see you guys next time.